Okay, I don't know whether I'm going to get this on one page, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, hopefully you've had a go before you just look at the video. So we start with that hint there and go, that's roots of unity. It's a fifth root. So we're going to divide our circle of 2 pi into 5. So our roots of unity um, would be 1, cis 2 pi on 5, cis 4 pi on 5, 6 pi on 5, 8 pi on 5, and then 10 pi on 5 gets back to 1. So there's our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 five roots of unity given the question it's pretty clear we're going to use that solution um, as our so as the one that we want that is the a the complex solution that we're going to select because it marries in with the question um, we know there's a z and a solution to that so let's just go the first z equals uh, the conjugate of root, uh, a conjugate of W, um, or W, it's not W, but anyway. Um, so that will be cos 2, uh, uh, so it's the conjugate minus 2 pi on 5 plus I sine minus 2 pi on 5, and then the normal root will be cos 2 pi on 5 plus i. Clearly we have got um, some real components and well I guess we're not, I don't think we're going to be using that because the question isn't about sign. The other thing that we've got is the fact that We've got a solution to, we can find a solution to this Z. Oh my gosh, I've got blue lines everywhere, but anyway, there we go. So let's get a solution to that, and let's just use the quadratic formula. It's not X, silly me. Um, so here we've got Z, the real component of Z will be that green added together. And now let's go quadratic. So minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So the two negatives make a positive on 2a. So let's just go, well, that's going to be minus 1 plus or minus root 5 on 2. We are told that this is the solution to the quadratic is the same as the the two um, roots of unity added together so therefore and you can see that this z has no complex parts which is why i'm going to link the real component of that z with the quadratic equation so i can go by equating because z equals z, I can go cos minus 2 pi on 5 plus cos 2 pi on 5 will equal this thing here. Minus 1 plus or minus root 5 on 2. Now let's just think about our unit circle, that's minus 2 pi on 5, and that's plus 2 pi on 5. So it causes the same value, whether it's negative or positive, which allows the next line to be, this cos here is the same as cos positive 2 pi on 5, which equals... So I've got 1... Two of them, which means I've got two cos two pi on five equals, and I'm going to get that two to the other side will equal now you'll notice 
if you looked at the answer, it's the answer does not have the plus or minus. So let's just have a think about cos 2 pi on 5. Again, the unit circle. Uh, cos 2 pi on 5 is in the first quadrant, which has to be a positive value. So I really only want to take the positive value of that quadratic equation. So let's just ditch the negative. So that would be an application of the domain restriction or however you want to term, look at it. So please look out for that in the external exam. Sometimes you've got to take your answer and really go back to the question and go, have I fully answered it or have I just got parked there? Okay, that was a nice quick one. That was fun.